delightful. I hope none of you speaks well because it would have been a pretty long intro. Today's tutorial is super exciting because it's a collab with my very good friend Jackie, the nerdy crafter. She's amazingly talented. You have to go check out her channel if you are not subscribed already. And look how amazing her stingray tank looks like. Oh my goodness. And look at all the colorful little starships. They're so cute. She has many more nerdy tutorials on her channel, so go check her out, you're gonna love her. As for this tutorial, while I was watching the previews, I kept seeing her in this little coffee pot, so I figured that's a food-related item. Even though, technically, the only food in there is Dory, and fish are friends, not food. And this way, you can bring her with you everywhere you go without fearing for her life, because she's in water. Well, technically, female liquid, but never mind. So have fun, and here we go! For this project, you will need... A rolling pin, an exacto knife, two sizes of straws, and a marble. A mold maker kit, some yellow, blue, black and white clay, female liquid, some glaze, and black and yellow paint. A hot glue gun, and a heart-shaped mini cookie cutter. First, mix two equal parts of yellow and white silicone paste, roll it into a ball, then push a marble in the ball, leaving enough space to pop it out later. Take the marble out 30 minutes later and your mold is ready. Now roll out a thin sheet of blue and yellow clay. Then use your heart-shaped cookie cutter to help you cut out your fish shape. Then trim the edges with your exacto knife. Now cut some triangular shapes in the clay, two yellow ones for the tail and two blue ones for the fins. Put one tail shape on each side of the fish and smooth it in the clay. Then smooth in the two fins. Now make two small eye holes with your dotting tool and insert two small white balls of clay in each of them. Fill your mold with just a little bit of female liquid and bake both the mold and the fish for 5 minutes. Use your black paint and needle tool to paint on the details on Dory on both sides. Then use your hot glue to stick Dory head first in the mold. Once the glue has cooled down, fill up the rest of the mold with female liquid. Bake it for 30 minutes. Now roll out a thick piece of black clay and use your biggest straw to cut out a circle. Then cut out a second circle, flatten it as an oval, then cut out a smaller circle at one end of that oval shape. Then sculpt the handle with a little snake of black clay and insert it between the oval and circle. Now use your rounded tool to dig a hole in the middle. Now add some drops of female liquid to make it look like it's spilling. Bake it for 30 minutes. Add multiple layers of glaze on the glass part until it's super glossy and transparent. There you go! Now you have your own little runaway Dory charm! So thanks so much for watching guys! I hope I didn't freak you out with my whale speaking! <sighs> now, don't be sad, it's not over yet. You can still go and watch Jackie's tutorial on her channel. So click on the links below to go see Jackie's channel and her Stingray Tank tutorial. Unless you're coming from her channel and then watching mine and then... Yeah, it's pretty much over for you guys, sorry. You're done. But there's plenty more tutorials on her channel and mine, so don't fear, it's gonna be okay. So thanks again for all your support, comments, likes, shares, everything you do for this channel. I appreciate it. Have an awesome day and God bless you. Bye! Hey guys! <coughs> it's so nice! Hey, star chips. Star chips! Tataryo channel and her shark wasting. Oops, shark wasting. <laughs>